What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here. Um my internet isn't working, so we're not or my my Wii U will not connect to the internet, so we're not going to be doing online today. Um But anyways, in this video I was thinking I'd discuss some of the funny made up rules that people have for when a Smash game is coming out. So let's see let's let's do some stadium. Let's do some target blast, because why not? <clears throat> And apologies, I'm still stuffy and recovering from my uh, allergy issues. Um, that was actually that was actually what I was going to bring up first before I get into the topic of the video. Um, I do have quite a few upcoming videos because I've been brainstorming a bit, which is awesome. Uh, <clears throat> all right, let's let's sync point. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, that's a good sync point. Um, but yeah, I was going to discuss my f uh, allergy issues. First, before I get into the topic of the video, because I haven't made videos for a while, and wow, this is a, this is a mess already. I'm stuttering all over the place. I'm losing my. It's hard to concentrate while playing. Um, but anyways, sorry I haven't made videos in over a week. I've been dealing with allergies and not feeling well. Um, but I I decided to just suck it up today. And anyways, the topic of this video is made up rules that people have for Smash reveals, because people seem to have a lot, and it's very strange. Um, <laughs> for example. Uh, one of the rules people have made up about Smash Bros. is that you can't have more than one character in a third-party franchise or something, but now look at Castlevania. Ooh. So yeah, and Ken is rumored to be in the game. And there's been a few leaks for Ken. Uh, probably fake leaks. Uh, but yeah, that pretty much disproves that rule that people made up. Um, Sakurai never said this. Uh, one of the funniest rules I've ever seen, though, is I've seen people claim that every other Smash game, we get a new mother rap. <laughs> Which is... what? Yeah, because they, they used NES and Nintendo 64 as an example, and then Lucas and Brawl. And that somehow means we're gonna get Nintendo in this game. Um... Now, I do agree that Ninten is totally likely and would be a neat Echo Fighter for Ness or Lucas or something. So, yeah, Ninten, whatever. Um, but I don't think that it would be because we get a mother character every other game. I think that would just be a strange coincidence rather than some kind of rule. Wow, this video is so fascinating, isn't it? Um, back during the reveal of Smash 4, though. Oh, that was too hard. Um, oh, that was lame. Uh, back during the reveal of Smash 4, though, I saw someone have a rule, uh, that said, um, for every Smash game, a Fire Emblem character gets cut and replaced with someone else to be alongside Marth. Because Roy was cut in Melee and replaced with Ike and Brawl to be alongside Marth. And I was like, there's only one game for that to happen with. How is it a pattern? People just come up with, with like these weird patterns and rules for Smash reveals, and it's just very, very bizarre, in my opinion. <laughs> like, why would you restrict your speculation to that, of all things? Um, now, one of the rules that does kind of make a little sense... Wow, I'm doing bad with Little Mac. <laughs> Most of his punches send things horizontally and straight across. Oh, there we go. Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, but one of the more, more one of the more logical rules is that if it's a new Nintendo IP, they'll probably add it. But I don't always think that's the case. I think they have to be big enough to deserve it. Um, or like, if there's another installment of a Nintendo game, then a rep from that installment needs to make an appearance, which I also don't agree with. Like Xenoblade 2, Rex and Pyro would be super cool, even though I've never played Xenoblade. But they look cool, I like their designs. Um... But I don't think they would be in just because it's Xenoblade 2 or something. Because like, has Xenoblade been big enough or done anything to deserve another rep? I, I don't get it. Um... I mean, they could be forced in for a promotion of Xenoblade 2, but... The game's been out for a while, so I think it's kind of late to hop on that train. Unlike Corrin. That's why Corrin was shoved into... Uh, Smash 4, because Iwata was like, Yo, Sakurai, you gotta promote this new game. 
Um, I'm pretty sure Korn wouldn't have been in otherwise. I mean, even Sakurai himself was worried about too many Fire Emblem characters. Uh, let's let's go to. Uh, oh, whoops! I hit retry. Whatever. Uh, even Sakurai himself was worried about too many Fire Emblem characters. Ooh, that knee. So, I'm sure Korn wouldn't have been in otherwise if Awada hadn't told him to. So I don't think a new IP of an existing franchise automatically guarantees a rep from that um, installment. So, I don't think Rex and Pyra are guaranteed. Uh... I think the Inklings were pretty much guaranteed just because of how massive Splatoon was when it started. Splatoon was kind of uh, a sensation with the Inklings. People liked the Inklings a lot. And totally wholesome and not lewd ways. Oh, Internet. They are squids. Please no. <laughs> oh my gosh, my stuffy nose. I'm so sorry. I'm sniffling into the mic so much. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I don't think a new installment or a new IP automatically guarantees a spot for them either. This video is probably really boring, I just needed something to upload and I promise the rest of the videos coming out are way more interesting. I just basically wanted to do this one first as an excuse to apologize for not making any videos because my nose is stuffy and my stuffy nose is totally killing my motivation to do anything and it's making this video super boring probably, so apologies again. For that. Uh, but yeah, ARMS doesn't have a rep. Where's ARMS rep? Oh, that was a very sad target smash. Um, I think the creator of ARMS said that they weren't ready for Smash yet, which I completely understand, because ARMS is like a super new Nintendo IP that came out with the Switch. Um... And usually, we don't get reps from the console that the Smash is on. Like, I don't think we got any characters that were Wii, Wii reps for Brawl. I don't think we got any Wii U reps for Smash 4. So I don't think we... I really don't think we might be... Uh, I really don't think we'll be getting any Switch reps for, um... Smash Ultimate. Uh, but we did get 3DS reps for Smash 3DS, so maybe. <clears throat> but the 3DS had been out for quite a while, so... That was kind of expected. Um, uh, my brain died for a second. I don't know what to think now. Oh, brain, brain, what is what has happened to you, you organ that makes me think things? Oh, man, this video is so interesting. Oh, man. Oh, but at least it's something, right, guys? Oh, man, I promise the rest of the videos I make after this will be interesting. This one is just... This one's just, uh... <sighs> sick getting something out. And I've said that 50 times already. Oh, this is a train wreck. Oh, I should just end it now while I can. How many, how many minutes has this video been? Has it been 10 minutes so I can shove it with 50 ads? Like... Like, um, like YouTubers are stereotyped to do, which is actually true, so it's not really a stereotype, it's, it's a trait. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh, let me check. Oh, it's only been nine minutes. I'll go for a little bit more, but I have a 20 second outro, so I can stop at nine minutes, 40 seconds. Oh, I hate this. I hate this, but yeah. It was fun talking about the made-up rules people have for Smash 4. You know, a Earthbound or Mother character every other installment, or switching out Fire Emblem characters every other installment. Uh, but I bet that everyone here, everyone is here, put a plug on that one pretty quick. Or the third-party characters can't have two characters per franchise. Haha. <laughs> so that was another funny one. But overall, I think. That's about it. Let me do one more round with Ganondorf. Oh yeah. Oh, that sucked. Oh, that was actually pretty good. Never mind. Whoa. All right, now I got to find a way to get it to hang up there. Oh. Uh, uh, uh.
Oh, this video. This video is so bad. Top 10 worst Leopold the Brave videos. Number one, this one. Oh, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go end it. Um, bye. Ugh. <laughs>